Hey my lovely Willow Vibes Tribe members, I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes and I am here to do just a general reading because um, I didn't get to one today. I've been busy on personal readings and I have some uploading and I'll be back at them tomorrow. I still have openings because I'm dwindling down. So if you're interested in purchasing a personal reading, just hit me up. My email is in the box below. I'll gladly give you the information you need. My prices are going up. Not much, but um, they'll be changing on April 11th. So anyone who gets a reading um, scheduled before April 11th will have my current pricing. Um, but I am offering new things coming up and I'll have that posted everywhere. So this Sunday, yeah, because this upcoming Sunday is the 11th, the 411. Um, thank you to everyone who has donated to my channel, big, small, by any means, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, it means the world to me. And thank you to those who have joined me over on Patreon for any denomination. You can increase it or decrease it at any time and cancel at any time. It's absolutely no obligation to you and it helps me out tremendously. Um, and if you sign up between now and May 2nd, you could be in the running to win my new um, exposed oracle. It is what they want to say to you, what they're thinking, like, I know you can handle things on your own, but I want to protect you. And like this one, let's see, my go along with the reading. I'm sorry that I allowed my, allowed my pride to get in the way of our connection, you know, stuff like that. Um, so someone apparently is sorry that they took the situation for granted, for granted, or took you for granted. I feel like I made a lot of mistakes is what I want to say in this situation, but we'll see. Most of my readings tend to fall into love land, but I feel like money is looking up for a lot of you. There's a lot of changes when it comes to finances, but anyways, um, if you're an active member on Patreon, you could be in the running to get my exposed oracle because um, I'm going to pick the winner on May 2nd. And if you order the prequel to Loving You, which is my other newest Oracle deck, and I just showcased that. I have a video showcasing both of them. Um, if you order that, the first 10 people will get a free Willow Vines bracelet. And they come in these cute little packages right here. I have some up there, and they're also for sale. Um, I have a limited amount of the ones that have the feathers on them, and I'm going to order a different charm and have, like, a different edition, I guess you could say, when those are sold. I believe I have 14 that I can sell. They're, um, they're $20 free shipping within the U.S., and if you live abroad, just let me know, and we'll figure out shipping. I did, I did ship out one to the UK today and it only came to it was like three bucks so it really wasn't much so it's under five dollars so that's not bad um but yeah so there's all that please like 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 comment share and subscribe stick around I really hope you stay I'm being weird because it's really fucking late but that's okay <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised I have as much energy as I do, but thank you to everyone who has just sent me these gifts because we are doing a mini unboxing. I have one gift here, so this one is not going to take forever, um, but I do want to just let you all know that if you create your own oracle decks or tarot decks and would like me to showcase them, show them off, um, and let people know where to get them, just ship them on my way and I'll gladly do that. I've had a few people send me theirs um, and I, I love the creativity that I've seen and, you know, just the, not only the imagery on the cards or what they say, but what I pull from it and just how it integrates into my readings. A lot of them flow beautifully and and I just feel very thankful for to you know that any of you even want to include me um, in what you do. It's amazing. Like, what the fuck is the problem by Fire Witch Tarot? You know, check out Fire Witch Tarot. These are really cool. Stop being an asshole. You know, these cuss. I love them. And my birthday is on Halloween, so anything witchy and spooky is totally up my alley. 
and Pink Divine Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. These are the cards that I am probably going to be using in this reading anyways, um, but I'm just giving you examples. And this one was given to me by, um, by a Willow Vibes tribe member. So a subscriber, not, not by the creator, but the other ones were given to me by the creators. This is the Twin Flame Oracle by Dr. I think it's Dr. V or something. This is Live Tarot, L-I-V, or it might be Live Tarot, um, L-I-V Tarot. Check them out. I love those cards, too. And then this is Love Messages by All Things Intuitive. I love these. Support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. Some of you might be doing that while you're waiting for your person to appear, reappear, whatever. And I just received these yesterday. Ouch. Along with um, the Soul's Journey. These are just on Amazon and I love them. Thank you to whoever sent me these. But the Hermit Tarot. The Hermit. Think before you act. Think things through. These are really great because they're kind of plasticky, which I'm thinking I'm going to make my next Oracle deck out of this because I love the way they feel. I mean, I like the way that the regular tarot cards feel because they're shiny and silky and they're easy to shuffle, but these are, I don't know, the feeling's very different. I, I'm really, I really like these, so if you're interested, you know, they have different numbers and like the One of Cups, Ace of Cups, things like that. And I might use that in this reading as well. So that's all my preliminary bullshit. And I know I have other decks that were hand created, but I don't know. I've got way too many. <laughs> that's just what I'm using right now and what were sent to me relatively recently. So let's see what's in here. It's a nighttime gift. Yay! You guys have just been amazing. I love you so much. I would be so lost without my subscribers and I was actually viewing my stats on the dashboard which I don't normally look at that nerdy stuff um, but I just kind of wanted to see you know what my audience consists of and you know um, who views me and how I get my views and stuff and I saw that 56% of my views come from my subscribers and then like the other 44% or something come from people who are not subscribed to my channel and that made me sad and I'm like there's 44% of people so far that view my my readings aren't subscribed and I'm like why so if you haven't subscribed Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to hit the bell, that's great. You don't have to. Um, only 3% of you watch my readings through the bell anyways. Um, but if you subscribe, I do giveaways all the time. And my next giveaway, which I believe, I think my giveaway is supposed to be in April. i got to double check because... Um, the exposed giveaway on Patreon is for anyone who goes over there, but that's not, that's, you guys are being chosen in May for that. So that's a May giveaway. So I'm going to give away a bracelet this month is what I'm going to do. So make sure to subscribe. Um, and I'm, I'm picking something, a giveaway for each month and closer to the holidays, I'm probably going to do multiple giveaways um, through like October, November, December. Um, so if you want to be in the running to get anything free, all you have to do is like my videos, participate, be a really friendly, active member by commenting every now and again, and, um, subscribing. You have to be a subscriber. All right. This is not even what I was expecting. That's so funny because um, I had somebody I did a personal reading for tell me that they got me a gift and um, they told me that they got me a gift because the reading was so great and her birthday is actually coming up and I'm like, you're giving me a gift on your birthday? So I sent I sent a birthday surprise, which I emailed and told her to be on the lookout for. She doesn't know what it is, and I'm not saying what it is, um, but this isn't what she sent me, so somebody else sent me something. This says, enjoy your gift from Anonymous, 
And this is the Wild Unknown Tarot Deck and Guidebook, which is awesome because I have actually wanted this for quite a while. I've seen a lot of other readers um, use this deck. They've got some really kick-ass images. Um, and I have the Wild Unknown archetypes which is it's a the circle oracle and I actually gave I have the big one and I gave the little baby one away um, last month and I have I have the the oracle with the animals on it that I can't remember Miss Chandra sent me that one and those ones are cool but these ones are different those are just the animal ones um, and this is has other images and stuff like I don't know sticks and trees anything with trees on them I'm telling you what I'm all over that I have this weird obsession with trees and my daughter actually just painted me a painting and it says willow vines in fancy writing um, on the bottom and it's got a tree in it which I kind of want to get up and show you guys some of you care some of you don't and I know I can't please everyone but like maybe towards the end I will go if I remember I'll go grab it but let's see let's open this up because I was thinking I'm like do I have this no I don't I have all the other wild unknowns <laughs> except for the original I believe these are always packaged so cool may you always be on on the inner quest like it's got the magnet I want I would love to have a setup like this for one of my oracle decks but I can only imagine how pricey it would be and it comes with this ginormous book it's got the different pictures and stuff in there with meanings I open right up to the magician self-empowerment and action I do feel like somebody is going to take action towards you relatively soon because they're kicking themselves in the ass for not moving sooner because um, somebody wants to apologize for their prior actions or or non-action somebody said something that they regret they could have lied about their feelings like I feel like I'm pushing you away and now I feel like an idiot for doing that. So with the magician and self-empowerment, I feel like this person is trying to build up their self-confidence for one, to reapproach the situation, to come towards you and right or wrong. It's like, uh, -huh, you know, um, they're, they're trying to push their pride aside because this person, I feel like tends to let their pride and ego get in the way of a lot of things um and it's held them back quite a bit in life i mean this person seems to be doing really well in the material realm i would say so you love interest or you but it could be flip-flop vice versa um i feel like workaholic like energy where you know i i tend to push people away um even friends sometimes family members like this person doesn't make a lot of time for social experiences um i feel like they used to this person used to be like the life of the party but they've they flipped a switch somewhere along the lines possibly due to a heartbreak which made them you know change gears and you know just be more focused on the material realm and you know building up their their financial security because I feel like this person has a lot of financial goals like I want to buy a new car potentially um, buy a house or just even mo relocate move to another house even if it's in the same um, area I just it would be a bigger home, a nicer home that could accommodate their family or potentially a growing family. This person is thinking of you when they, uh, when they think of these big purchases and you have no clue because they haven't even come towards you yet to express any feelings, but they're trying to manifest you back into, into their life because I feel like you're just killing it right now. Like you're, you're kicking ass in life a lot of you are very successful I feel like you have you've you've achieved a lot of goals that you set for yourself um, within the past couple years because I feel like I'm talking to somebody who has a lot of goals like there are a lot of things that you want to achieve a lot of projects that you want to start and finish and 
um, you know, whatever they are to you. Some of them are personal, some of them are business related, but I just feel like I'm setting small goals, mini goals. Um, and I use this as an example, um, in another reading, but like YouTube, for example, you know, say you have 20,000 subscribers and your first goal is 50,000. And then after that you want a hundred thousand and so on and so forth. And there's like a little bit of stuck energy, but I feel like you're, you're going from zero to a thousand, meaning you might feel stuck, like you're not gaining any any new subscribers like you're not reaching you're not going to reach that that goal but then out of nowhere it just starts picking up and then you're like oh goal one you know I just I feel like it, they're mini wins but it, all together it's huge for you or for whoever that's for it could even be for your person but it's like I'm ready to settle down my my life is looking good um and you know there might be a few things that I need to tweak in different areas of my life but overall um things are going really well and now I'm ready for love. Uh, I feel like you have been ready for love for quite a while or you thought you were ready but you're you're really ready now um, and this person is ready too. They weren't ready before. Um, but this says the magician is a card of boundless expansive energy whereas many of the major arcana deal with stillness or aspects of the mind this card is all about action 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 it's time to see yourself as the wildcat embrace his speed grace and abilities don't be afraid to to begin don't be afraid to to take that first step forward and talk to your love interest or cross watcher talk to you know your lover whoever cross watcher this is for everyone why do I always say that but anyways the other person you know make a move um, and for any of you that are you know have been putting projects on hold get going you know it's not gonna magically do itself kind of thing because some of you are just doing it you're on a roll and others of you are kind of procrastinating just depends on where you stand in that um, you have the power of all four elements within your reach now is the time to use them so now is your time to shine, baby. Don't let don't let yourself hold hold yourself back. I might need the book for these, but I'm an intuitive reader, so we're, we'll use these and we'll see what we get. But I might need the book because I don't know what they all represent. It comes in another box. A box within a box. And the very first card I see is the Ace of Wands. There's that new creative spark, that that new opportunity taking action, moving forward, getting out of a rut, not staying stuck and stagnant. This is, I love you. I have passion for you. I want your sexy body. I want to say hello. I want to come over. I want to do something with you. But this is also those projects and those goals, and it's the first step to achieving them. All right. I thought there was more cards in there, but it's just the bottom of the box that's got the little infinity symbol in there. All right. So, yeah, we're definitely going to use these. And then I love owls, and I totally forgot that they that this card was even in here. Mother of Swords, which I believe is the Queen of Swords, and she's the motherfucking owl. Boo you bitches. This is Libra energy to me. So Libras get popping. That message could have been for a Libra, um, or you have Libra in your chart, but the emperor is a tree and I'm all about trees. I'm willow vines. Just saying, maybe this is me <laughs> owning my own business, having new ideas, my Oracle decks, you know, it could be as simple as that sometimes. You know, sometimes my readings resonate with me and sometimes they don't. It just, it all depends. Um, but it's so funny because I have wanted this deck for a hot minute and I totally forgot about it and boom, there it is. And that might be what's happening to some of you. Like, you know, it's not that you totally forgot about your love interest or your person or anything or that they forgot about you. It's, I feel like I've had to push this aside. I've had to, you know, I have to focus on other things in my life because there was no movement and I feel like you were told that it wasn't going to move forward, period. So it was kind of like, well, that's a lost cause. So it's what you quote unquote forgot about is coming in. This person is totally going to take action towards you. 
I'm just trying to mix them up right now. And then I'm going to pull an overall energy card and then dive into the reading. Which, I mean, I've been channeling messages anyway, so it's not like you've been waiting this whole time. All right, so let's see. We're going to get one of these Souls Journey cards for the overall energy and see, like, what the main focus is, I guess, overall. What's the main focus for this reading, please, Spirit? I'm recording this on April 6th, but it'll probably be uploaded on the 7th or completed on the 7th. Service. I feel good when I can help others. I feel like you are very helpful for whoever this reading is going to resonate with. I feel like that's basically what your business is or just what your what you what your life's all about um i feel like a lot of you your life purpose it does involve servicing others you know like helping helping those in need some of you work in public service you know firefighters police officers um emts nurses um i just heard orderlies things like that like uh not a servant but like a bellman, you know, the people that carry people's luggage up to their rooms and stuff. That might seem small or minute, but it's it's helpful, um, especially for those those people who who can't carry things by themselves. You know what I mean? Sometimes it's the simplest things in life. Like what I'm picturing right now is somebody grabbing this elderly lady's groceries and carrying them for her you know that's simple that would make her day and it would really help her out because you don't know what ailment she has she's old you know um it's having the courage to stand up for other people you know um standing up for the underdog and fighting against the bullies in life because adults can be bullies too um i just feel like you're very generous with your time with your energy you're very giving, and your love interest sees that. They know that you have a heart of gold. I feel like I want to protect you. I, I don't want anyone to take advantage of you or um, harm you in any way because you're like an earth angel type energy. You're just, you're so giving. Um, this person didn't feel deserving of you because I feel kind of darkness on their side. Like, um, you know, the bad boy, good girl dynamic, and I'm. it could be vice versa male female doesn't matter but it's just I feel like one of you is just an outpour of love and light and the other one has lived their life a little more selfishly um and I almost feel like whoever was being quote-unquote selfish didn't think that they were they thought that they were very very generous until until you came into their life and then they're like, wow, that's what generosity is. Like, you know, I'm just a, a nice person and I help people once in a while. Like, you do it every day. Like, something like that. So there is a little bit of a difference. And I kind of make, it kind of makes this person feel a little, a little inferior, basically. So I'm going to get one of the prequel, the loving you cards, just to see, like, the mutual energy between you and this person. What's kind of going on. Even though this deck is bigger than uh, traditional oracle or tarot cards, it does shuffle pretty well. Because I'm not really into really big uh, cards, but I fucking love these. Transparency is at the bottom of the deck. Um, hidden in plain sight. Your person has been hidden in plain sight. They've been watching your ass, I'm just going to say. Um, false mask, and they were wearing a false mask. I feel like you you saw right through their, their facade right from the start, but they want to take their mask off um, with you. I feel like I want to be more vulnerable. I want to be more transparent um, with you. I want to be more open. I don't want you to have to pry and, you know, and look through a facade. I want to just be me, my authentic self, in front of you and see if you still even want me. I feel like you would. But the mutual energy between the two of you or what ties you together is music. And I do feel like with this card, 
Um, music does tie the two of you together. I feel like song, there's a lot of meaning in songs, in the lyrics. Um, you can listen to a song on the radio, or there's a specific song that makes you think of this person, but I feel like there's a lot of songs that make you think of them and vice versa. Um, and I feel like this person telepathically sends you songs. So if you just start singing a song out of nowhere or a song title pops in your head, it's them sending it to you. I also feel like I've said this before and I feel like it's it's still coming up. This person might send you a song, you know, on social media or in a text message and say, oh, I really like this song. Have you heard it? And there's more meaning to that song than just them liking it. They're sending it to you and wondering if you can pick up on, on the signal, on the sign, like that they're saying, this makes me think of you. Like, you know what I mean? So music ties you two together. For some of you, one of you or both of you are musicians. Or you're like a, I, I just heard struggling artist. So you could be a struggling musician, you know, trying to get, um, a sense of stardom or fame that you're trying to get started. You could be playing in like little hole in the wall pubs or places like that, like where they have live bands, karaoke. Um, I do feel karaoke night, like having that's just for fun. But some of you like actually book gigs locally. Not all of you. That's a small message. But let's see. We will get. A twin flame oracle, one for person A and one for person B. I'm going to read person A as you, the viewer, and person B as your love interest, but it could be flip-flop, vice versa. Keep that in mind. Um, sit down wherever you fit in. If you don't fit in, stand the fuck up and get the hell out. It is what it is. Maybe next time. I just totally saw somebody sitting on my bed, and my heart just went, <laughs> and there's nobody there. Some of you are experiencing um, paranormal activity, like it's revving up. I feel like you've always believed and um, you've had paranormal like, paranormal experiences before, but it's, it's heightened, like it's happening more. Person A's side, we have blessings. And it says protection, attention, love, your guides are always with you. I feel like you are... You're too blessed to be stressed, I'm just going to say. I feel like if any of you are stressing out because because of your finances, because of, you know, something isn't moving as quickly as you want it to, this connection or just something in your life, whether it's your personal life or professional life, um, I feel like don't get discouraged because you are right on the preci precipice of something great. Um, I do feel like you're, you're going to experience a blessing. Um, something that you've been manifesting, hoping, wishing, praying for is coming your way. And for a lot of you, I do feel like it is in love and money, love and business. Especially if you've been working really hard at something and you're not seeing the uh, results that you thought or that you were hoping for, that's changing. Alone, abandoned, lonely, lost, the divine is with you. Your person is feeling lost and alone right now. I don't feel like they're so, so much lost, but I feel like they're definitely listening to a lot of music and they're feeling really alone because you're not with them. Um, I kind of feel like you might be blessing them with a message For some of you, this person is just so sick of being alone and they're missing you and they know that all they need to do is take action and they wouldn't be missing you anymore. So your blessing is Mr. or Mrs. Lonely Pants over here coming towards you. It's like they're constantly reminded of you through music is what I'm feeling. So let's see. With the pink Divine Love Oracle by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot. I can't believe I'm only 29 minutes in. Usually it takes me a lot longer to get this far. Shit's going smooth. Messages are coming in really clear as well. Steps, um, movement forward, momentum. Yeah, things are moving forward and that's a blessing to you. 
finally. I feel like it's been baby steps, though. For whatever this blessing is, for whatever is coming into your world that's going to make you super duper excited, um, it's been a slow go, but I'm telling you, it's going to build up momentum. Once that ball gets rolling, even though it's slowly rolling now, it's going to pick up speed. It's almost like when, when a ball rolls downhill and you can't stop it, you're going to be a uh, force to be reckoned with and unstoppable in a blink of an eye is what I'm feeling because you're on the right track. You're on the right path. You're doing what you need to be doing. So person B, please. I feel like this person wants to help you. They want to help you achieve your goals. And even if you don't need help, they just want to stand beside you. Um, and they know that you would support them in what they want to do as well. And this person is not used to being around people who who are supportive. My ears ring in there thinking of you or talking about you. Sheltered off, trust issues, insecurities. Yeah, definitely. This person has been alone for a hot minute. This could be you or them. Who does this person be? Um, I feel like this person has developed trust issues over time because they've dealt with shady people. Like I was just saying, they're not used to um, supportive people and you're very supportive. You're very kind. You're very generous. You're the earth angel, like I said. But this person pushed you away and has been very closed off to this connection because of their past and because of the people that they chose to keep in their life. Um, they, I feel like because they're alone right now, they're slowly weeding, weeding through their friends and, um, the people around them. It's like who belongs in my life. Um, and through this process, they're realizing that they want you back in their life. Even if you didn't date this person, some of you, this is an ex of yours, but most of you, you didn't date them. Um, it just could be like a friend dynamic, you know, friends turning into more. This person backed off from you and they're regretting it. Yeah, because you're loyal. Loyal, trustworthy, reliable, honors you. They know that you're loyal. But their trust issues were overshadowing this for quite some time. But they're realizing it. Because you've always been there. You've stuck around. Some of you have made massive changes with makeover and they're really noticing you because you're standing out. I feel like you're doing something very different um, just w with your appearance, with how, how you present yourself, what you're doing, just your life in general. Um, and I feel like this person is kind of overhauling their situation now too because of that. Um, so let's see, we'll get one of these. What is it? Wild Unknown Tarot. One for person A, please. Or let's see what this person's intentions are. We'll do that. What is the viewer's love interest intentions? These shuffle really nice, too. They're more of a satin finish or linen or something. I don't know what it's called, but they're not as super shiny. They're more of a matte but they shuffle nice. So we have the seven of pentacles. This is work. The person I said was a workaholic and with the daughter of cups, I feel like the, the daughter of cups, wouldn't that be the page of cups? Looks like a rainbow there. I want to say this is the page of cups because what I'm feeling with this, regardless of if, if it's a knight or a page, I feel like this is, they're working on what to say to you. They want to apologize for choosing work or money or material things over you because they have love for you because then the son of cups is right under that. And it's like, I'm sorry, you know, I love you and I, I shouldn't have pushed you away. This person, you're their rainbow. You're like the sunshine on their rainy day or vice versa. And they want to apologize for choosing money and, you know, material things over you when those things don't matter. You can't take any of that shit with you when you, when you die. And it's like, I want, why did I pass up on this experience? Why did I pass up on on spending time with someone so wonderful? Because I feel like, yeah, I'm not really sure what that is. 
That looks like the Five of Pentacles. I'm not taking it, but I saw it. And they're sad without you. This is the lonely energy, the loner energy. They feel like they miss you. And what's funny is I always talk about Beauty and the Beast and when the last petal falls. And even though it's not the last petal, there's one petal falling and it's raining. And I just said that you are the sunshine in their rainy day, which is bringing in the rainbow, which is why they want to apologize for choosing everything but you. They're so sad without you, and they're hoping that you're still there. I am going to take it, because that's what I just said. I love it when that happens. They're hoping that you're still there. You are, most of you anyways. They're hoping that sorry is, is good enough, because they're... Some of you, some of them might say sorry in a song. They might write you a song, sing you a song, play you a song, or send you a song. Yeah, temperance. There's reconciliation here. They want to heal this. They want to rebalance the scales. But like the song lyrics, the lyrics in a song that they send you is part of their apology. But their, their actions are going to back up their words, basically. We have judgment, making a decision. This is also karma, you know, getting your just due, getting what you deserve. So you what you put out there is what you get back. And guess what? This is what they put out there, a sense of rejection. Uh, they pushed you away. And that's what they're... They're reaping what they sowed, and they don't like it. Um... I feel like I didn't think this would bother me this much. I didn't think I'd care like this. I want to spend all my time with you. I want to make time for you. I'm sorry that I didn't make time for you. I'm sorry that I pushed you away when you were fighting for my attention. You know, it's like you made time for me even though you were, you know, busy at work too. You took the steps towards me and I slammed the door in your face basically. And that's kind of what's going on here. Even though you haven't done anything to them, I feel like you pulled your energy back. I feel like you're not initiating conversation anymore. You haven't for a minute. So basically with you taking a step back and focusing on your own work, your own life, you know, making over your life, um, enjoying the fruits of your labor and the blessings that are coming into your world, they're seeing this. They're seeing you change. They're seeing you grow and they're really sad that they're not growing right alongside you. But what they don't realize is they are growing because this is growth. This is maturity. This is, I screwed up and now I want to right my wrongs and I hope that you will forgive me. And most of you will accept their apology. Yeah, the high priestess, they're following their intuition right to you, the empress. And I did see the emperor already. Remember I said that? Yeah. They know that they hurt you and they're hurting. What's weird is they know that the reason why you pulled away from them and you're not talking to them is because it was painful for you because you wanted more. Something like that. And the fact that they know that they hurt you is hurting them. And they don't know what to do about it. But they're transforming. They don't know how exactly to transform this situation. But this isn't a cocoon anymore. It's an actual butterfly. So it's like, okay, I've changed. I've transformed my situation, myself. How do I get out of this now? How do I transform this? They're going to they're gonna reach out. Yeah, the Hierophant. You have the key to their heart and vice versa. They want a commitment with you. This person was non-committal, could have been the fuck boy, fuck girl type person. And now it's like, I don't, they're not even doing that anymore. They're all alone. They're keeping to themselves. They've sheltered themselves off from people. Cause I said that in the beginning, this person used to be very social and now they're not, um, they're not as social as they used to be. And I feel like it's because they want to change their ways. They don't want to be reckless anymore. The song that's come into my head right now is called Her Man by Gary Allen. All I want to be is her man. And it's about changing his reckless ways because he cheated on her. And he, he's realizing that he loves her so much and he's sad without her. Um, 
in the song and now you know he's now that he's changing his ways it's like all i want to be is her man it's a really good song it's really short but i kind of feel like if you if this person chose if this person cheated on you when you dated them they don't they want to do over and they regret it and if you didn't date this person they regret choosing every every pointless void of emotion option besides you because you're you're the one they, they were unavailable to you you're the one that you're the only one that matters You're the only one that got through to their heart space because this person would push people away. Marriage, this relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Yeah, I'm to I told you, they want commitment with you. Healing, they want to heal this because they're healing themselves. Old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. That's what they've been doing. That That's what this alone time is all about. Chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual. Yeah, this person... They're in love with you, too. They've been denying their feelings for a hot minute. But they can't deny it anymore. So let's see what they want to say to you. With the exposed oracle. What is this? I want to help you achieve your goals and be by your side when you succeed. That's I said that in the very beginning. I need liquid courage to talk to you because you make me nervous. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, just be careful when it comes to liquid courage because, you know, it's okay if it's for the initial, you know, get my foot in the door or back in the door type thing situation. But make sure that, you know, they can talk to you when they're sober moving forward and that they continue that they uh, back up what they said when they were quote unquote drunk when they're sober, that they don't take it back. I want to marry you someday. There's two marriage cards here. And I feel like this is somebody who didn't, who isn't marriage material. They didn't see themselves ever getting married and they see, they see forever with you. I am finally seeing that you're my soulmate and I hope it's not too late. This sums up everything that I just said in this reading. They fucked up. And they're, they're, they're waking up to this connection. That's exactly what this is. You're everywhere I look. I see your face, hear your voice, and dream about you all the time. You guys connect in the 5D big time. I now know that we belong together, and I hope you feel the same way. You do. So don't worry. But that's what I have for you. This is insane. This is crazy. And this is coming up um, relatively soon. And I do feel like it's been a long time coming. So it's not like, I feel like it'll be a shock because a lot of you have waited for a while. Some of you have waited a year or more. Others of you, it hasn't been that long, but I just, I do feel like there has been a wait. You've had to pull yourself away. And some of you have even given up on this completely. And then boom, your blessing comes in and it's this person. Because they miss you. They want to sing you a lullaby. Your voice is music to my ears. I just feel like music is healing. And you've helped heal this person. Because I'm looking at the band-aid on the speaker. It's like music soothes my soul. You, just like you. Your voice soothes my soul. If you record anything online, whether it's public or just for your friends, because, you know, some people do TikToks or, you know, they do the live videos for their day or YouTube or whatever. Um, but some people do it on a much smaller scale or even on Instagram. If you do anything like that, no matter how big or small this person sees it and they listen and it's like they look forward to anything that you share on social media no no matter how big or small it is and it's like they love looking at your face they love listening to you um you're just very you're very wise and they miss you and it makes them miss you even more because at first i feel like watching you or looking at your photos made them feel closer to you and it still kind of does but now it, it it's almost like because they miss you so much now because their love is growing when they look at you they feel the distance now. It's like, it, it makes them sad. 
because you're not here. They can't touch you. They can't sit next to you. They're not talking to you. But they can change that, and they know it, and they're going to. But that's what I have for you. Hopefully it makes sense. Hopefully it helps. Um, and I'll be talking to you guys real soon, and I'm going to finish up my other readings. But I might not be able to post anything until later in the afternoon, evening-ish tomorrow, because I've got some personals to take care of, and I want to get some... Um, some readings on Patreon. So if you want to join me over there, I will be posting something at least, at least one thing over there tomorrow. Um, and I got to do my weekly energy as well. But it's just anyone who signs up over there, it's just to help the channel. It keeps it going anyways. And you could be in the running to win the free exposed oracle if you're interested in that. And don't forget to purchase the prequel to loving you and get your free bracelet. I love you a long time. Peace.